Working with pottery is a really special thing because it's so elemental. You've just got the bare sort of basics of life. You've got earth, you've got fire, you've got water, all working together to make artwork. Hi, my name's Hannah. Um, I'm an artist who works in clay. I'm also a pottery ceramics teacher. Um, and we're gonna make a few things today with clay that you can do at home, just at your kitchen table. So let's get started with building something. Today I thought we'd make something where we make two simple little cups, uh, join them together, and we can use that to turn into a box. All right, so I've got some basic terracotta. Um, you can get clay from some of the bigger art supply shops or like a pottery school maybe. So I'm going to grab a little bit here and we're just going to roll it up into a ball. And I'm going to be making a pinch pot so we're starting off by putting a thumbprint into the center of the ball. And we're going to go around the edge and make a little rim. So you're making the rim the size that you want in the end. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to make a little one today. So now I can start moving down a bit further and you see I'm sort of spinning it as I go to make sure it's even and this is where you're really using your fingertips to to feel where the clay is moving rather than your eyes. So now we have our first little pinch pot very nice leave that guy there um, we'll get another piece and then we're doing the same thing as this and we're wanting to try and get the rim vaguely the same size as the other one. So now we've got our two little cute pinch pots. Now we're going to join them together like this. So when you're joining clay, you want to sort of open up the surface areas of where you want to join it. So I remember in primary school we called it scratch to attach. So now we're going to scratch to attach. We can use pretty much anything. You can use your fingernail to make some scuff marks in it, a toothbrush, we're also going to do that to the other little pinch pot. So now we're going to use um, what we call slip. So slip is just uh, clay that's been watered down a bit. So it's almost like kind of uh, clay paint. And put that on the edges that we've roughed up. And then we're going to stick them together. So you give it a really good little wiggle. And then we're just going to smooth over that join and really sort of pushing those edges together. This thing is gonna look quite weird until right at the end, which is a really nice um, thing about it because you're like, oh look, I've made a giant poo. But then magically at the end, it sort of turns into quite a nice little object. So now you've got two, your two joined little pinch pots in this funny little potato. And we're gonna do some paddling now to turn this into a little box. I've got a wooden spatula and we're just whacking it really. And you can put it into a whole lot of different shapes with a paddle. So I'm gonna make this into a rectangle to turn this into a little box. Some people out there I'm sure are very neat and particular and will be getting these edges just perfect. So that, for me, is box shape enough. Now I'm going to grab, this is a little pottery wire, um, but you don't need to have a pottery wire. You can just have some string or maybe some like dental floss or something. So just anything that um, you can use to cut the top of the box off. So we're going to try and cut in a straight line. And pulling it gently. all the way through, there we go. And you can see inside, that's the join that we made. And you've got a lovely little box. With ceramics, normally we'd fire, fire something in, in a kiln. So you can do that, you can take, take what you make into a place that has a firing service, or you don't really have to. If it's not something that you need to hold water, it can just sort of dry out or dry in the sun, or you can 
put it into a fire. So if you're going camping or something, chuck it in the campfire and see what happens. Um, once the fire's burnt down, pick it up and it will be nice and dry and certainly dry enough to use as a nice little box.